Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Hetty Topper from The Alchemist out of Stowe, Vermont. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. I've got my best beer drinking besties here, uh, Andy in the attic, Jay, I am Ben. Before we get to the review, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers. That notification bell, as well as check us out on social media, and come say hey on Discord. We would love to chat you up there. So, besties, what are we drinking today? <laughs> so, today, <clears throat> we are going to Stowe, Vermont, and visiting the Alchemist. And we're going to have the Heady Topper. So, I'm ready to drink this one. I've been waiting a while for it, and I want to see Ben's reaction to it. <laughs> yes, this one is 8%, 100 IBUs. And, <laughs> per the brewery, oh. the brewer, they recommend you drink from the can. Really? So, so well, I'm, I'm going to do it both ways. Yeah, I like Andy. I'm going to pour about maybe half in the in the glass, and we'll try that. <laughs> <I'm in. laughs> well, I'll uh, I'll join in there as well. A little bit in the glass since I've got one next to me. Drink from the can. Drink from the can. Drink from the can. I think they really mm -hmm. want us to drink from the can. So, cheers, mates. <laughs> cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Man. <laughs> well, yeah, that one's bitter. Uh, I think uh this one's a ooh. great one. I take it you haven't yeah. had this one before, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not one that I've picked up, uh no. So uh this will be a first for me. Have either of you had it? Jay, have you actually had this one? Yeah, of course I have, yeah. I've had it. I don't know how fresh from the source, but when visiting family in New Hampshire, a uh, family member had gone over, driven over to uh, the, one of the breweries because they've got two of them in this state over in Vermont and brought back a whole bunch of them fresh. So, and I'll get into that more um, on how their beer gets out. But this one is their flagship beer, the Heady Topper. It is a double IPA. Six different hops, but they didn't name the hops. I couldn't find that anywhere. But that they describe it as having flavors of orange, tropical fruit, grapefruit, pine, and spice. I definitely, I definitely can pick out a little bit of that, that bitter kind of orange peel, grapefruit mm -hmm. type of uh, type of flavor. Yeah, and we actually had this last year at the uh, yeah Ole Miss baseball game at the baseball games in the outfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can definitely pull out the orange and uh, uh, and some pine <laughs> and the grapefruit, <laughs> all the all the bitters for sure. Yeah. Mm. So, this beer started with their brewery, uh, which started in two thousand three. Uh, it but it started in the town of Waterbury, Vermont, and it was started as a sixty seat brew pub. They were going to open a production brewery there in Waterbury in around 2011, but there was a lot of damage from Tropical Storm Irene, or yeah, Tropical Storm Irene, um, to the area damaging the pub. So they had to shut the doors on that. Uh, so they focused more on their cannery and distributing locally, but it kept growing, and more and more people were buying it. So they had to open a brewery in Stowe, Vermont right now. So currently they, they have the two and that was in 2016 that the one in Stowe opened. Um, their biggest ones, Hetty Topper and their other one called Focal Banger, which thank you, Jay, for acquiring some. We will get that at a later date, are distributed statewide. So those two, Hetty Topper, Focal Banger, distributed statewide and occasionally out of state. Mm -hmm. So if you're outside of Vermont, it's not easy to get this. So what did you say, Jay, when you picked up your <clears throat> where? 
Um, I grabbed some in, in Colorado. They have a, one of the ski towns there. They they managed to get, I, I don't know if it's two or three times a year, a shipment. <laughs> and, you know, they sell them in, in the four packs. Uh, that particular uh, liquor beer store would only, it had a, a two, four pack limit per person. Um, so it's a, definitely a, a cultish type beer. Um, yeah. I have buddies it's... that go up to, um, you know, near the Vermont area of visiting family and, and they'll go in and they'll buy as much as they can and pack it in their suitcases and bring it back or ship it back. Yeah, because the limited and specialty beers are only released directly from the brewery. Yep, so. I've had some of their others, and they are fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the distribution for uh, Hetty Topper and the Focal Banker, that's the only two beers that they distribute? Yeah, distribute around the state. Wow. And then and everything else, you have to go there to get. That's why I say it's you know it's tough tough one to get. Wow. Yeah, I had one band that you would love. Um, probably it was uh, called Luscious. It was more of an imperial double stout. Um, and I, I was trying to remember how they defined it. Uh, it was almost a British uh, stout. So I'm trying to see what the difference is. You know, I'm going to try. Glass can, glass mm -hmm. can. Is that good? Tastes good. <laughs> it's just like the Grover near and far. Or... Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, out of the can, I, I guess like a less of a bitter taste almost. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, wow. it's in my head. Um, I was going to say the opposite. Yeah. I was going to say the opposite because I poured the rest of mine in a glass and it's less bitter for me out of the glass. But it could be that I started off in the can and those first few sips, you know. Well, you might be getting the resins at the bottom, all the uh, the chunky goodness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. The flocculants. <laughs> yeah. This one there is, we go. Flocculants. is <laughs> chunky all throughout. Wow. Yep. yep. <laughs> I just so it makes it that. so good, Ben. That is wow. I don't know that I've seen a beer like that before where it's all just floating in there, not just collecting <laughs> at the bottom. I mean, it's heavy at the bottom too, but wow. It almost looks like a gel or something that has like sparkles in it. Uh, and it's, of course, I have kids, so I see that kind of stuff. All that kind of uh, junk the stuff. flocculence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for introducing that term into my life, Jay. You're welcome. I got into an argument over the weekend when someone said it wasn't a real word. We looked it up. It is a scientific term. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Well, uh, I guess it is time for me to, to go because you guys have had it. And that's our tradition here. If you haven't had it, you go first. So here I go. Uh, it's bitter. Um, <laughs> if you don't like bitter, then this one may be a tough one to swallow. That being said, I can appreciate it for the fact that, you know, we've, we've had some, some ones and, and maybe, Hey, maybe I'm changing, maybe I'm growing. I don't know, but we've had some that have been extremely bitter and that have been really tough for me to drink. I think this one has enough of a flavor to go along with the bitter that it's better than some of the other higher IBUs or higher bitters that we've had, in my opinion. Again, it could be growth on my part, you know. I came here to grow, and, and here we are. So um, that all being said, the first couple of sips were tough. I mean, they, <laughs> they really were. Um, and as I've had a couple more, again, I just really appreciate the flavors that I can pull out of it. Uh, you know, definitely the orange peel, definitely grapefruit. So that for me is not so bad. Um, so... I think it's actually, if you like a bitter beer, this is great, right? I don't like a bitter beer so much, but I'm going to go seven and a half. Well, <laughs> the way you were talking, I was not expecting that high of a score. 
I like I like to make you, you know, uh, I, guess like, I give it a four. Uh, yeah. it's not no, I mean, it's it's even for me who doesn't like the bitter. I can appreciate the taste and the flavors that I pull out of it. Am I going to want a second one tonight? No. If, you know, in a month or two, we're hanging out and you hand me one of these. Yeah, I, I'm going to drink it again if, if I don't have other things to choose from. I think you'd like it better <laughs> in the glass for sure. It seems, yeah, you know, I've been yeah. going back and forth, and yeah, you know, it's definitely more more on the bitter side out of the can. Maybe the airflow and the car, you know releasing some of that carbonation. Yeah, I made the mistake of pouring all of mine out of the out of the can uh, after trying it in the can. So, um, but yeah, I think it's definitely to me seems less bitter in, mm-hmm. in the glass. Yeah. All right, Andrew. Hmm. Um, I like it. Great flavor. Uh, doesn't taste too bitter for me. I don't mind bitter in my drinks as long as it doesn't taste too grapefruit. So, uh, golly, I'm going to give this eight and a half. It's just a really good, this is what an IPA should taste like. You know, it's a double, um, you know, not being a, not a hazy style. It just says it's a double and, you know. You can't get much better. Well, I guess you could, but in your IPA, you, you this is what you want. So eight and a half for me. Well, just an eight and a half if you can't get much better, huh? I don't know if I've uh. given another IPA uh, <laughs> above an eight and a half, though. Have I? I don't know. We we're several several shows in at this point, so you know. Uh, I think um, regular IPAs because I've I may have given a hazy an eight and a half maybe nine. Um, but I haven't given it a lot of nines, but um, I would, you know, I, I'm I gravitate more towards a hazy. Um, well, I'm not asking I'm, you to change your score, Andy. I won't. <laughs> you can beg. Uh, no. Hey, no. Hey, you guys out there that are watching this video, do us a favor. Go back and check all the IPAs that we've had. Y'all be sure to watch them all the way through. And go ahead and let's see if you can find one where Andy's giving it better than eight and a half. Yeah, just a regular IPA. It's hard to say. Yeah, a fun uh, scavenger hunt for yeah. everybody out there. Yeah, that'd be funny. I know. You know uh, something, something we probably should have kept track of on the spreadsheet, but yeah. It, you um, know, maybe I'm thinking 90 minute, but I can't remember if that was an 80, eight, eight and a half or nine, uh, the 90 minute IPA. That was a great one. Yeah, it um, qualified. I mean, it made the wall of fame. So, yeah. And then brain cake, but I think that's a hazy. So, mm-hmm. um, that is a hazy. Yeah. That's the one that stands out the most. Well, since it's my turn, um, I agree with you. It's funny you mentioned grapefruit and how you don't like that, Andy. That was the very first, when I took my first sip of this one tonight, that was the thing that hit me the mm-hmm. out of the mouth. Um, there's definitely all the bitter, the pine, the orange peel, grapefruit. Um, it's one that I've always loved. I mean, I've had this beer whenever I can get a, get my hands on it. I've had friends that go up there, like I said, that, that bring it back or, um, you know, when I visit other locations, I'll, I'll seek it out. Um, it, it's a nine for me. Um, uh, it's one that, yeah, if I can go buy some, I'll buy it. Like Ben likes to buy everything out, but in most cases, they're only going to let you buy two, two, four back. So. All right. That's going to give us an 8.3 for the heady topper from the alchemist out of Stowe, Vermont. Um, a very hoppy and flavorful double IPA that sounds like from what these guys are saying, it's hard to get. So uh, let us know if definitely, if you have had it, let us know what you think about it. And we would love to hear your comments on Hedy Topper. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe and cheers that notification bell and check us out on social media. Come say hey in discord for Andy in the attic and Jay. I am Ben. Cheers mates. Cheers mates. Cheers mates. Chew it back. <laughs>